Feet Tyrant Versus presents Billionaire Beatdown! Asami Sato versus Boba Fett. Let the battle begin! Hey guys, welcome to part two of round two of the Billionaire Beatdown. This episode is going to be featuring Boba Fett, obviously, and Asami Sato. Rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first, you guys. Ready? <laughs> oh. Boba Fett, who do you want to go first? Uh, it's got to be stinky in there. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I think we'll go first. I've been really? holding my breath since we started. Oh. <laughs> Never gets old. Okay, ready? Oh, yes. Go. First of all, Boba Fett is the consummate bounty hunter. He's calm. He's quiet. He's confident. He literally is the person Darth Vader himself goes to when he says, We're going to hunt down and kill all the Jedi. Who do we want? Boba Fett. You know why? Because he's got decades of experience killing Jedi who make benders look like children. Like Not Gungan. Gungan <laughs> children who run around <laughs> screaming as he lights them on fire because he's got Mr. a freaking flamethrower. <laughs> Bend that. Not to mention Flame he's a, literally a clone of a bounty hunter so good that they've made an entire army of him. He grew up around an entire army of people like him. He was raised in a military environment. His whole life he spent fighting. Okay. He is just one of the best bounty hunters there are. He, what's he gonna do? Go against a bender? Ooh, it's like Jedi light. I mean, Sorry, they're just he's not a... a bender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not even a bender. Time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. okay. It's fine. Team Asami, are you ready? Sure. Ready? <clears throat> ready? Mm -hmm. Go! Asami is so awesome that we, she was originally written up to be a side character that was, that was just going to be a one-off, but she was so rad and so well-written and so perfect for the series that she ended up facing, like, becoming a main character through the entire se series. Um, also, when she was 19 years old, she took over her dad's company that was tanking because her dad went insane and decided to kill off all the other benders. She knew better because she has a higher moral code, she's just a better person than Boba Fett ever will be because Boba Fett's just a clone, a useless clone of, like, a guy who's just going to die anyways. And, and, and she turned the company around and became freaking amazing. Also, not to mention uh, her girlfriend. Korasami. Let's yes. talk about the Korasami complex. Yes, let's. Here. They're um, dating the Avatar, yeah, the you, strongest being in the universe. If you mess with Asami, you're going to mess with her girlfriend who can destroy you, who can bend fire. She can bend uh, your blood. Just take you right out <laughs> and you're done. As As Asami has trained to fight people who could shoot an endless stream of fire from their hands. Boba Fett's got maybe 10 minutes worth of fire out of his gauntlet. Then he's like, oh, I'm out Time. of gas. Blown over with wind. Jetpack on the ground. Time. Time. Okay. <laughs> Round two. No mercy. Okay, guys, you ready for the rebuttal? Oh, yes. yes. Boba Fett. Sir. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Go. Take away. You know what? Asami is nothing more than a sorority girl. Oh. She was raised with a silver spoon in her ass. She's oh. had everything oh. handed to her her whole life. Oh. She's good looking and she gets indoors everywhere. <laughs> You know, she, what she has to struggle for, her dad, sure he's made some bad choices, but he grew up on the streets, he had to deal with the non, or the benders the whole life oppressing him, and she's got nothing, she's just, she took some Tai Bo lessons, ooh, <laughs> she got in college, Not that's to all mention, she is. Once she takes over the company, every, you know what happens to their entire stock? It gets stolen, because she's a f***ing idiot. How on earth do you take one of the greatest companies in the entire world and run it into the ground in the course of like a year and a half? Yeah, sure, she rebuilds it, but why should you have to rebuild something that's already awesome? Not to mention, she is only making herself into a higher status by working with the vendors. She doesn't even need to. She's rich already, and it's just like, I just want to be better than everyone else, so I'm going to work with the vendors. Whoa. <clears throat> that's <laughs> Okay. Right. Wow. Want to play this way? Claws you want to play this out. way? Claws I think they want to play. Out. I think they want to play. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Four words. Star Wars Holiday Special. Whoa! Boom! Oh, when we God. very first meet Boba Fett, we learn that he's a bumbling idiot who runs away from C-3PO. The golden space dandy himself finds out Boba Fett's plan to kidnap uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, who are paralyzed at the moment, hanging upside down. His only opposition is an unarmed Chewbacca, Space Dandy, uh, C-3PO, and the walking, talking trash can R2-D2. What does he do? Yeah. Yep. He just up and runs away. He can't handle C-3PO on his best day. Also, 
Also, what hap- what does Boba Fett do? At all in the movies. Boba Fett is not a bounty hunter, he is a tracking device. He follows the Millennium Falcon to Cloud City, and then he calls his daddy, Darth Vader, saying, Hey, I found him! Come pick him up! I can't handle him! <laughs> When Han Solo comes in the room, he doesn't shoot at Boba Fett. He shoots at Darth Vader, the actual threat. Boba Fett is just there to be there. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't do anything. And his mode, his mode of killing is disintegration. Time. Like, why do you Time. disintegrate to start out with? This one's not even in the room. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was brutal, you guys. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think, Boba Fett or Asami? Obviously, Asami. Don't forget to vote. Six months of loot crate on the table. Yeah, it was more than five. <laughs> but seriously, Boba Fett is like a useless bucket-headed moron who can't do anything. See you next time. <laughs> Even no if... way. What is she going to no. do? Asami's oh, got Asami's made a plasma cannon on a jetpack. Shot in the right face. That yeah. can go through five feet of those like platinum metal. Yeah, she, what's she going to do? Kick him? He's wearing armor. He's just going to shoot him in the plasma face, cannon light her on fire, and call it a day. She has a taser cannon that completely nullifies air.